Welcome to the Pukinuk, where in the past 10 years more than 20,000 Pukis were born, all made by kids aged 6 to 12. These instructional videos accompany our kids so that you can now make your perfect Puki at home. So, you have threaded your needle and tied your knot, and now you're ready to start stitching. Here is the whip stitch. You take your needle and you always stick it from the bottom up, like this. Now, if you're sewing your duck or your mouse, you want to make sure you don't stick in the middle of the fabric like this, because you won't be able to stuff it. You want to go right along the edge. Also, if your thread is coming out here, and you stick your needle all the way over there, you'll end up with a hole and the stuffing will come out. So you want to go right along the edge, right next to where your thread is coming out, pulling your stitches nice and tight. And it will look like this. For the running stitch, you start by threading your needle and tying your knot. And this is how this stitch goes. You go down through the fabric and up through the fabric and pull it out. And you go again down through the fabric and up through the fabric. It's almost like a dolphin diving through the ocean. Down and up. Now you can go faster by doing a few stitches at a time. You go down, up, down, up, and pull it out. We use this stitch mostly in the advanced kits, even though it's a very easy stitch. And we use it often to gather up fabric. By pulling on the string, it will crunch it up. But if you don't do that, it will look like this. The back stitch is used to sew almost every part of a puki for the intermediate and advanced kits. First you thread your needle and tie a knot. And then it goes like this. It's almost like a running stitch, but a little bit different. So you stick down through the fabric and up through the fabric and pull it out and tight. Now you're not going to stick over here in front of your thread. You're going to stick behind your thread, go through both layers, and come out in front of your thread. And it makes a T with the needle. Then you pull it out and you pull it really tight. And again, don't stick there in front of your thread. Stick behind your thread, go through both layers, come out in front of your thread, it makes another T with the needle, and then you pull it out and really tight. And here it is again. There's your thread. Don't go there. Go behind your thread. Come out in front of your thread. There's the T again. Push the needle through, pull it out, and pull it really nice and tight. On the front of the fabric it will look like this. On the back of the fabric, it will look like this. Because you are stuffing your intermediate and advanced pukis with pellets and not with fluff, it is extremely important that you keep your stitches really small and that you pull them really tight because the pellets can pop out. So one more time, here's your thread. You go behind it and come out in front of it and it makes a T with the needle. And pull it out and pull it really nice and tight. Hi, I'm Sophia, designer of all Pookies. If you like our Pookies, but you can't come to the Pookie Nook, go to our website and order the kits online. Video instructions are included in all of them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye!